Developing storm system takes aim at the Bluegrass State just in time for Super Bowl Sunday. I'll show you why it's all about the track of the low coming up. Workers at a gas station are cleaning up after deputies say a woman crashed into the pumps while high on drugs. What police are doing to try to stop the problem. Drones should only be used according to the Constitution, but if they fly over my house, they better beware because I've got a shotgun. On the heels of Senator Rand Paul's statements regarding drones, is it illegal to shoot a drone out of the sky? We'll tell you coming up. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 530. Good evening to you. We saw some snowflakes flying around this morning, but now we are looking at another storm heading our way this weekend. So we begin with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. He's tracking the storm and what kind of precipitation that will bring to the Bluegrass State. How about it? Guys, this storm has been on our radar, believe it or not, for the past week and change. Been able to track it from that far out. And as we've said all week, it's all about exactly where the low decides to track, as you mentioned. Well, right now, as we jump ahead to your Saturday evening, that low should be developed. Developing across Arkansas and Missouri and then working into the bluegrass state. That is not the optimal track for snow lovers around here. Yes, it may begin as a period of some snow Saturday night and Sunday morning, but with a low that is coming into Kentucky, you know what that's going to do? It's going to change us over to mainly rain on Super Bowl Sunday. The big snowstorm would be from Indianapolis toward Columbus, Pittsburgh, and even areas all the way up toward the Great Lakes. As that low, though, then works into far eastern Kentucky, southern West Virginia, comes Super Bowl Sunday night into Monday morning. That is likely then to pull down cold air and give us a switch over to a period of some snow. Can we get some accumulations from that? It is certainly a possibility. What are we dealing with to start out the weekend? Temperatures that are into the low and mid-30s under a partly cloudy sky. Focus of the forecast, though, is on tracking that messy and rather ugly Super Bowl Sunday. Guys, we'll break it down in greater detail when I come back in about 15 minutes. It is a growing problem. Deputies in one southern Kentucky county say they're seeing more DUI crashes with drivers high on drugs. The Pulaski County Sheriff's Office says the latest crash happened yesterday. We're told a woman was driving on Oak Hill Road in Somerset when she lost control, hitting a fire hydrant and a gas pump. Victor Puente has a look at all the damage. It's our top story at 530. The woman police say crashed her car into the gas pumps behind me has been arrested for DUI before in 2013. According to court records, that case is still working its way through the legal system, even as she faces new charges for driving under the influence. 27-year-old Megan Ganshorn was driving north on Oak Hill Road early Thursday morning. Deputies say she lost control of her car running up a hill over a fire hydrant and into a gas pump at the Oak Hill Food Mart. Deputies believe she was high when she crashed. We think because of her being under the influence of drugs, it probably led to the accident, and uh, we're making a concerted effort to try to get those type of people off of the road. That crash started a fire under her car. The Pulaski County Fire Department was able to get it out. She was taken into custody after she refused medical attention uh, for DUI by drugs um, and also the possession of drug paraphernalia. Because the crash happened around 3 a.m., the gas station was closed. Deputies say if it hadn't been, other people could have been seriously injured in that crash because of how busy the roads are at this intersection. Busy area for school children, and that could have been a, a real hazard to school children. The clerks at the food mart told me their gas pumps have cutoffs to prevent gas from flowing should something like this happen. That's what kept that fire from spreading. In Pulaski County, Victor Point, A, WKYT. Clerks tell us it could be more than a month before that pump is replaced because there are only a few people on this in the state who do that type of work. A Lexington gas station is the victim of two burglaries in one week. The owner of the Marathon gas station on West Main and Jefferson Streets thinks the same thief is behind both crimes. The latest burglary happened around 2 in the morning last night. Surveillance video shows a man using a rock to break the glass in the front window. He then goes inside, takes some cigarettes. Police describe the thief as a black man about 5 foot 6 with a thin beard. He was wearing a shiny jacket and dark jeans. The owner believes this man also broke into a store last Thursday and took cash. A family is without a home tonight after an early morning fire. Our county by county coverage at 5:30 begins in Knott County. The fire started about 8:30 this morning at the intersection of Kentucky 550 and Possum Trot Road. The Hyman Volunteer Fire Department says it took them a while to get water to their hoses because they could not get the closest hydrant to work. 
It's about a quarter mile, and then there's a quarter mile up the road. So we had two trucks running a quarter mile to get water, and we finally did. We were able to figure out this hydrant and get it working, and we were able to get water a lot quicker to our units. The three people were inside the home when the fire began, but made it out safely. The family's dog did die in the fire. Firefighters don't know what caused the fire. In Madison County, police are looking for a man wanted for stealing meat from a grocery store. Richmond police say this man tried to steal more than $250 worth of meat from a save a lot last week. We're told the man got out of a small red vehicle and went into the store. Police don't know the man's name, but he is facing second degree robbery charges. And in Franklin County, a scam warning from police. Frankfurt police say they've received complaints from people about phone calls from a person claiming to work for the police department and the IRS. We're told the person asked for money and credit card information to pay penalties or delinquent tax items. Police say do not share any information with the person. It is a security scare that is sparking debate. Earlier this week, a quadcopter drone crashed on the south lawn of the White House. The crash caused a security lockdown. A hobbyist later came forward saying he was playing with his drone when it crashed. Senator Rand Paul reacted to that incident, saying he would shoot a drone down if it flew over his house. Mike Linden looked into the issue and found out if it's even legal to shoot down a drone in Kentucky. It's a story that's new at 5:30. Drones should only be used according to the Constitution, but if they fly over my house, they better beware because I've got a shotgun. That's what Senator Rand Paul said during a recent Snapchat interview following a drone crash landing on the White House lawn earlier this week. But it raises the question is it legal to shoot down a drone in Kentucky? Some disagree with the senator's statements regarding drones. I think he was being a little maybe bombastic uh, when he said it that way. You certainly wouldn't. If your neighbor parked his car in your driveway, it might make you mad, but you wouldn't feel like you were entitled to burn it to the ground. According to officers with the Lexington Police Department, depending on the situation, shooting a drone out of the sky is illegal, not only resulting in destruction of personal property charges, but possible wanton endangerment charges as well. While shooting a drone out of the sky is illegal, some Kentuckians say they shouldn't be there in the first place. These little things can fall out of the sky. Now, there, there's, there's always, there's very good ones out there, but they can actually hurt people if they're not being used responsibly. Even though there's a bill before the state legislature regarding drone regulation in Kentucky, Governor Steve Bashir says while unlikely to pass this session, it is an issue that needs attention. Every time you get new technology like this out, you know, it raises uh, different issues, and the, this raises privacy issues. In Lexington, Mike Linden, WKYT. The Lexington Police Department tells us that so far they have not responded to any drone related incidents in Fayette County. A school superintendent is taking his suspension to court. According to the Mount Sterling Advocate, Montgomery County Superintendent Josh Powell's attorney has filed a complaint in circuit court against the county's Board of Education. Earlier this month, the school board decided to not renew Powell's contract and they suspended him with pay. The complaint asked to reinstate Powell as superintendent immediately. It says the school board acted beyond its scope of authority when they decided to suspend him. Cameras, iPads, phones, and laptops for a price you can buy just about anything on the internet. And that includes a scam. I posted it on Craigslist. Lauren decided to sell her MacBook for $800 online to get some extra cash. And I got a call from like this random guy, sounded like he could barely speak English, um, asking or telling me he's going to give me $950 for it. She was thrilled. He explained she would need to open a PayPal account because he lived out of the country and sent her a link to show her how to do it. He was like, okay, now you have to like go to the post office and ship it to me. And I'm like, okay, well, where's my money? So he's like, okay, I deposited the money into your account. I went on PayPal. I didn't even think for once to call the customer service or any of that. So I went on there and it said plus 950. Lauren prepared the package to send to Nigeria and headed to the post office where the clerk questioned its destination. I at the front was like, you're sending this to Nigeria? She said yes, then left with a sinking feeling. Something's not right here. That guy didn't have to say that. Just the monotone of his voice, like the, you know, attitude he gave me. When she got home, she called PayPal. And they said, ma'am, you know, I just want you to know there's no money in your account. She then raced back to the post office and told her story. I think I've been scammed. They were able to stop the package from going out of the country. 
She also met postal inspectors. Turns out the PayPal link she was sent was bogus. Spoof um, some kind of communication with Lauren, uh, making her believe that PayPal had received a payment from the, uh, the buyer in Nigeria. Lauren says she will never sell anything online again. Just be careful uh, when dealing online, especially overseas buyers. Once a package leaves the United States, there's very little that the Postal Service or the Inspection Service can do to help. Postal inspectors recommend you approach all online transactions with caution. If you are sent money orders or checks, be sure they clear your bank before you turn them over the item that you're selling. Fire, fire. Follow WKYT online at WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. Governor Bashir says he thinks the legislature will be busy when they get back to work next week. And a familiar person has decided he's not going to run for president. Bill Bryan explains why in the bottom line. Good evening. Governor Steve Bashir leaves tomorrow on an economic development trip to Europe, but before he left, he taped this weekend's edition of Kentucky Newsmakers here at WKYT. He says there have been plenty of highly politically charged issues that have been discussed in the legislature early on, but the governor predicts lawmakers will focus on a practical set of issues and get some important things done this year. And you know, we can agree on a lot. I think we're going to pass the heroin bill. I think we're going to pass a bill on dating violence to give protections to couples and dating relationships. I think we'll pass this uh, public-private partnership legislation that will allow Kentucky for the first time to use public-private partnerships in transportation projects. Uh, I'm pushing very hard to, uh, to update our booster seat law uh, the way all of the states around us do to protect our children more. You can see the full interview with Governor Bashir on Kentucky Newsmakers. Set your DVR or catch it Sunday morning at 6 on WKYT or on its repeat at 10 Sunday on the CW Lexington. Well, now that the filing deadline has passed, candidates and political parties are trying to get a fast start raising money for the campaign ahead. Potential donors have seen their inboxes flooded with requests for cash over the last few days. Some mention the need to demonstrate some strong early fundraising to show that their campaign is viable. The man who easily carried Kentucky in the 2012 presidential election says he is not running for the White House next year. Mitt Romney said today that he will not make another bid for the presidency. He says a lot of his former supporters have committed to Jeb Bush. Bill Bryant, WKYT. Firefighters want to cut down on the number of people killed or injured by fire. So the Lexington Fire Department and Marco's Pizza are teaming up to provide free smoke detectors. Those who qualify can get in-home safety inspections and smoke alarm installations. For more information about this program, just pick up a smoke alarm magnet at your local fire station or any Lexington Marco's Pizza.